frustration things going on and some of my ideas to either fix or change them and then some things that are going really well that I will do the exact same way next year. Uh, a lot has changed in the last week. Today is Sunday. I don't know the exact date, but I think it's the 26th, 25th maybe. I don't know. I really don't know what day it is. It's Sunday. This video will probably go up on Monday or Tuesday of this week. So um, I'm going to show you some of the good things going on, bad things going on. And uh, I hope you enjoy. we were moving and I couldn't start seeds but the cabbage is looking really healthy it is probably one of the healthier looking plants in the garden right now um, it's done well in the cool weather and the rain and right next to it is the broccoli I'd say the same thing it is one of the healthier looking plants right now um, they should start putting on heads soon <gasps> and there we have it look at that you guys that is a little broccoli head is this one? Oh, there's one down there too. Look at that. We have little heads of broccoli. That's so exciting. Over here, this one's a little small. It's not putting on a head yet, I don't believe. But, I mean, they're really healthy looking plants. There's some yellow leaves on the bottom because of the amount of rain we've had. It has rained for three weeks straight here. And I'm not joking. Um, this is the first sunny day we've had in three weeks, so lots of stuff is looking kind of sick. These, these are some cabbages that I planted thinking, hey, we'll try it. They are Brunswick cabbages, I believe, and January King cabbages. I think I'm going to go ahead and yank them up and put something down. There, there's no way they're going to make it. They're going to bolt, so anyways, and then over here. We had some squash germinate. There's a good looking one over there. Let's pull these weeds while we're at it, huh? It's already weed season, you guys. And then I have some more squash plants that germinated right there, 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 and there. I planted gray striped Italian zucchini, or striped Italian zucchini, gray zucchini, and crookneck squash. All of those were for, from MI Gardener. So thank you, Luke, for your wonderful seeds. Um, here's my lettuce patch. Now that these lettuces have matured quite a bit, I can tell you which ones are which now. So that is a butterhead right there. Um, this one right here is red leaf. This one's freckles romaine. That is some spinach that needs harvested very badly. <laughs> this one was the bronze mignon. And it, no, that's the marvel of four seasons, sorry. It got decimated by some hail. And then this is the bronze mignon that's finally starting to put its color on. And so this, I may just go ahead and rip it out and put some radishes or something quick in there because this gets a lot of sun during the day. I wasn't quite sure where the sun was gonna land when we put the garden in because of the trees. And so now I know for next year, and I'm going to change some things around next year and you'll see what those are here in a little bit. But my lettuce patch is looking really good. It's a, it looks small because of how big my garden is, but that is a lot of lettuce, you guys. I, my girls and I are going to eat on that for weeks. My boys don't eat lettuce, so. Over here we have a ragged jack kale. We have some blue curled scotch kale right here that's fallen over from all the rain. I will probably rip him up. But that one's looking really healthy. And right here is my pride and glory. These are my Red Norland potatoes. I took a risk this year and decided to plant these really, really early. We had a freak snow at the end of April. I came out here, covered these up with trash bags and they are just doing wonderful. I'll take you to the other side and we'll look at them over there. That's my seed basket, you guys. It's a lot of seeds. They're, they don't fit in there anymore. But these are looking really healthy. There is some yellowing on the bottom leaves. Like I said, we've had three weeks of rain. I've come out here and picked them off when I could. And when I couldn't, I just kind of left them. These are almost done. They've got a few weeks left. They should start flowering in the next week or two. 
These are Kennebec potatoes. I planted these a little after the Red Norland potatoes and they're doing pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of damage. I don't know if it's bug damage or if it is rain damage. We've had like little spurts of hail and things like that. I'm not 100% sure. It really looks to me like it's damaged from the weather because the bigger, more mature leaves are not getting beat up. And like this plant right here is. That really makes me think that it's from hail, but I do need to come out here with some neem oil, I believe, um, and get these sprayed down. Down here, we have some sunflowers and zinnias that are looking beautiful. I'm so excited. I've never planted cut flowers before. This is my first time doing flowers because I never had space to give them before and now I do. And I'm just so excited. I hope they're as beautiful as I think they're gonna be. This beauty right here, I think is a mammoth or a titan sunflower. I cannot remember completely which one it is, but it is one or the other. Um, I, I am gonna plant both. And then I've got my rattlesnake pole beans and my homestead pole beans right here that are gonna run up this tra trellis. And it looks like I have a rogue bean plant right there. I must have dropped a seed or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll let her go, I guess. I don't know. She's not going to fit in with everybody else. My dill is coming back. My cilantro, cilantro, cilantro and parsley. Oh, is she trying to bolt? I don't want that. You guys let me know. These leaves are really little right here. I don't want it to bolt. Let me know if you think it's about to bolt and I'll come back and pull these off. Uh, my parsley looks really good. She's getting a little out of hand. Rosemary is looking great. More pole beans. I got my peppers in yesterday, so let's go up here and look, take a look at that. I did not plant a ton of varieties this year. I planted some Corno de Toro peppers. They're like a good frying pepper. Um, some paprika peppers. But lots of banana peppers. I think nine of these plants are banana peppers. My kids like banana peppers a lot. And then some jalapenos and that's it. Uh, we're not a huge pepper family. I love them. They give me heartburn. So I don't eat a ton of them. But we'll see how many we get. This may be the last year I really try at peppers. I may just do banana peppers from now on, but we'll see. We'll see how those jalapenos do. I'm really excited about those. My tomatoes are doing pretty good. We are seeing a little bit of disease from the rain. And then these down here are so tiny. These are blueberry tomatoes, these little tiny plants. And they're just not looking too hot. <laughs> they were started quite a bit after these. I may come back and just put some black cherry tomatoes down there. I do have some of those left in the greenhouse and they're much healthier plants, but those aren't looking too hot. I've already noticed some disease on these tomatoes. If I had known that it was gonna rain for three weeks straight, I would not have planted these. I would have left them in the greenhouse like my other plants, um, which look like I may need to go in there. They're looking like they're a little leaf curled from heat in the greenhouse today. So I need to pull them out. Yeah, they need pulled out bad. Over here, I've got more tomatoes. The varieties I planted in no specific order are Climbing Triple Crop, Pink Brandywine, Black Brandywine, Dr. Witchies, Witches, Just, I know how to say that word in Jess for Moose and Refuge, really. In my head, I just pronounce it how she pronounces it now because she says it so much. Dr. Witches, um, Abe Lincoln's, Kellogg's Breakfast, Black Cherries, Yellow Pear, uh, Mortgage Lifters. Is that my whole list? I think I'm missing one or two, but that's about the realm of what I planted. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, just stuff I've planted before. Oh, Paul Robeson, how could I forget that one? He's so delicious. <laughs> But they're looking pretty good. I just came by and pruned a lot of the leaves off. We'll see how they look in a few days when it starts raining again. And then along the edges here, 
my watermelons finally popped up. So I've got a watermelon there, a watermelon there, and then there's two more popping up right there. And then I've got some down by the potatoes as well. My plan is to run the watermelons over the wall into this space and just have a watermelon patch. Oh, and over here is where I interplanted my radishes. And what do you know, they have all popped up. Some of the carrots have germinated as well, but they're so tiny, they look like little weeds right now. And if we come back over here, <laughs> if you guys hear me sniffling, my allergies are just really bad right now. Um, I'm allergic to the outdoors and it kind of sucks because I love being outside. But my melons have germinated. Uh, they're getting munched on over here by something. It looks like they ate this one completely down to the ground. Um, so I may have to come back in and reseed some of those. But these are Kajari melons and cantaloupes. And then over here are my pickling cucumbers that have germinated along this trellis. National pickling and Boston pickling cucumbers. And then over here, I only have one that has germinated and it is either in an Armenian yard long or a beet alpha. I'm gonna have to re-sow cucumbers on this side of this trellis. And that about does it, I think. I don't think I've missed anything, you guys. I'm gonna come in and sow some okra in this spot right here. Um, and I have quite a bit of space left at the front side of the garden. I may just throw some tomatoes in and try to find something to trellis them with at the front because I'm gonna have lots of space there. And when I dig these potatoes up, I'm gonna have all that space there as well. So I may come back in with my tomatoes that I have left over and plant them and just try to get them up on something. so many kids that is so much easier to take a video and post it to YouTube and just know that it's there than it is for me to take the time and write stuff down um, so I'm really enjoying this I just have to get used to hearing myself on camera um, but it's fun thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one bye